Hey, what's up everybody? It's Casey the Rockstar Flipper on a rainy Wednesday, but today is Wednesday and it is half off day at our Salvation Army Family Stores where we can get some really good deals. I'll spend about an hour in here. Um, let me show you guys. Uh, it is very rainy today. We're in the I-8, but it's raining like crazy. You guys can see the Salvation Army Family Store over there. Let me wipe the wipers. There it is. So we're gonna head on in there and see if we can't find any deals. Um, usually this place is packed like crazy, especially here in the morning. With it being rainy, uh, there won't be quite as many people in here, but it's still gonna be busy. I can see the parking lot. Uh, there's quite a bit of cars, but uh, if you have a half off day, whatever day it is, Wednesday, Friday, some places are weekends, sometimes they send you guys coupons, get out there and make the most out of those half off days. Schedule everything else on the other days so that you can get to these stores on, uh, on your 50% off days. Uh, I'll probably come in here and spend 50 to $100, walk out with a cart full or more of stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll make a few hundred bucks while we're in here, three or $400. So um, I will uh, video again once I'm inside and we'll see what we can find. All right guys, see you in a minute. Hey guys, uh, back from the Salvation Army, and they were getting a little cranky with what I was, um, what I was filming in there, and, and they didn't really you know, want me to have the handy cam out in the, uh, in the store, so I figured I'd just bring it all back and show you guys, you know, what I purchased. I spent uh, $28, I think. Let me grab the receipt here. So we spent, uh, we spent 23, 23 39 I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Uh, right there. Backwards, obviously, for you guys. But 23 23 39 was the total. And uh, let's take a look at what we got for $23.39. So here's the bag. Um, I'll start with this. It's all closed. This is a Pebble Beach. You guys can see that? Pebble Beach Polo. And I'm in the car, so excuse me, but you guys get the idea. And this shirt was uh, originally $4, so we got it for 50%, so we paid two bucks for this. Probably about a $15 to $18 polo. Uh, I would be happy at a $15 sale on that. <clears throat> uh, this was a really cool shirt I found, and this shirt was originally $1.99, so of course we paid a dollar for it. And it's a guy's black t-shirt, uh, size extra large. The front just says Holyfield Lewis. And when you flip it to the back here, it actually has the, um, the picture from the, excuse me, let me get some light on here for you guys. It actually has a picture from the 1999, 1999 November 13th pay-per-view championship fight of Holyfield versus Lewis, which was a pretty big fight at the time. Uh, still one of the better fights, one of the uh, the bigger fights that ever happened. So there you go. Uh, I think it was really, really cool when I saw it, and for a dollar, I figure I can get 10 bucks out of it. Somebody that collects boxing or really likes boxing will probably buy that. Um, the next one we picked up here, uh, one of my uh, funny, comical, you know, graphic shirts that I always like to buy, says, are you looking at my wiener? Uh, again, this one was a $1.99, so I paid a dollar for it on half off day. Uh, let's keep going. Um, you guys know I sell quite a lit, quite a lot of Marvel and superhero shirts, especially the kids ones, but the adult ones as well. This is a Wolverine X-Men shirt uh, from Old Navy Collectibles. You guys can probably see that. It's an extra large, good size. So probably again, I paid $1.99, which you can see there. And I would imagine that this would probably, or I paid a dollar, 50% off. I would imagine that shirt's probably gonna sell for about eight to $10. Uh, not a bad little thing. Again, you have to fill your store with these items, so you're always making sales. Um, I don't typically try to sell a lot of Aeropostale. Um, it just doesn't, sorry about that, I zoomed in. It just doesn't sell too well, but this one was a double XL, which you don't see a lot of, so they're harder to find. Lesser of a market, but if you find the market, it'll sell. Uh, and again, for a dollar, I didn't want to let it go. It is bright, it's in great shape, good material, good front graphic. I think if I list this at nine bucks, it'll sell. Maybe eight bucks as an offer, seven. Either way, I'm gonna make two or three dollars on a dollar purchase. Um, this was one of my cooler purchases today, and I really think this is gonna be worth some money. Uh, this was uh, originally two ninety nine, three bucks. So we paid a dollar fifty for it. It is from Draco, original, made in Peru, polyester, and this is a one size fits all. It is an Ireland soccer style jersey. Now Irish stuff is popular as as it goes, but a Draco Ireland jersey shirt here, 
I think this is like a 15 to 20 dollar shirt. So I looked these up when I was in the store about to check out and I found a lot of them. I couldn't find this one, but I found a lot of Draco jerseys selling over 20 dollars. So I'm pretty confident I can get at least 15 if not 20 for that shirt. So pretty happy about that one. Uh, you guys know to pick this stuff up all the time. This shirt is the very popular Tommy Bahama. See if you guys can see that. Uh, originally, they, they do price these high, seven bucks. So I got this one for 350. It is a button down dress shirt and it actually has, if you guys can see that, palm tree, palm frond background. So this is a short sleeve shirt, lightweight. Uh, it's got the good buttons, the high quality buttons on it that don't fall off, people like that. Uh, and the size was really good. This is a medium, 100% silk. So this is a shirt you can put up for 15, even though I paid 350, it'll sell for 15. You'll net right around 10 or 11 and you'll be all set on your uh, $8 uh, profit. So. Uh, here's another cool item I picked up and you don't see a lot of these you won't see a lot of them and it, I grabbed it immediately uh, The price again. This one was a seven dollar shirt paid 350 But look at the tag and look at the brand. This is a Payne Stewart golf polo extra large great size uh, It actually has the Payne Stewart solo logo standing up there And for those of you that don't know who Payne Stewart is he was a very famous golfer who always wore the real high knickerbocker, knee-high socks uh, with his pants tucked into him or, or right above him when he golfed. Uh, tragically, uh, sometime in the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, I'd have to look at the date, maybe 97, rings a bell, 99, uh, his plane had some problems, his private jet over the Midwest uh, of the US somewhere, and uh, everybody was incapacitated, including the pilot, and his plane went down and everybody was killed. Uh, Payne Stewart was one of the most likable, one of the best golfers of his time, and uh, he was killed very, very young in his late 30s or early 40s. Uh, so his stuff is very, very collectible and very sellable. That polo is probably a 20 to $25 polo, uh, 350 on the cost. Uh, a second uh, Tommy Bahama Large, Tommy Bahama Large. Uh, this one was only $5, so I got it for 250. Can't beat that. Uh, again, probably 15, $18. Uh, now this was a really cool pickup that I found. This is a nurse's smock, a doctor's smock, a doctor's assistant, anybody in the healthcare, dentist, veterinary facility. Um, it was five bucks, I got it for 250. Uh, it is Batgirl, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's Batgirl on a doctor's smock. It has the pockets here, very, very cool. Uh, original, I, I've never seen one with superheroes like this on it, uh, all the way around the front and back, Batgirl. So really like it for $2.50. I don't think it'll be a hard sell at 15. If I have to take 10, I'll still make a couple bucks. So pretty happy with that. Um, I got a duplicate shirt. I actually bought this shirt a couple days ago and sold one already. Uh, it says, attention zombies, this brain has already been consumed by video games. If you look that up on eBay, you'll see the one I sold. Uh, this one was $1.99, we got it for a dollar. Uh, and this is a extra large, this is a kid's extra large. I sold a kid's large for $9.99 the other day. So this will probably sell for the same $10 net, you know, $6.57, we paid a dollar. So you're making five, five fifty dollars on a dollar purchase. You really gotta get those. So uh, let's go to, uh, we got two more items. I'm gonna save the best for last. Um, this is a Hollister uh, pink little knit button down. It was a dollar. Or it was $1.50, I'm sorry, it was $2.99 originally, I paid $1.50. Uh, it's a girl's Hollister Extra Small. Extra Small stuff seems to sell really, really well in Hollister. So I think I'll put nine nine fifty dollars on this and sell it. Um, so just a couple, you know, smalls again to go with it. That's all we put up is smalls all day long. And then we toss in our, you know, few largest. So here is the best item today that I picked up. And here's why, and the price was great. So we paid... $3, got it 50% off, so we paid $1.50 for this item. This is Everything Alpaca Peruvian Products Medium 100% Baby Alpaca. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about alpaca, but they're the little guys that spit. They look like uh, they look like big sheep, giant sheeps. They get their skin, uh, their hair, and they make products out of their hair, just like a sheep. So this is a genuine alpaca sweater, and it's purple, and it's a woman's size medium. It's a good size. I'm kind of try to hold it up for you guys. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing insane, but it's alpaca. So when you look up these alpaca sweaters, you will find that the majority of these in a woman's medium, alpaca, good quality, good, you know, good everything, we're talking 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks easily. I seen some alpaca sweaters when I looked this one up for, you know, around, um, 
100, I saw them for 80, I saw them for 65, I saw them all over the place, but I didn't see any similar to this one for less than 40 or $50. So I'm banking on that being a 40 or $50 shirt that I paid a dollar, or a sweater that I paid a dollar 50 for. So it's definitely a score. So uh, we're out $23 today, assuming we can get worst case 30 for the alpaca. Uh, let's just say a net of five a piece on all the little 199 ones. So we got one, two, um, see what else we got here uh three four dollar ninety nines five six we got six of those so let's say that's thirty dollars so that's sixty um on the pebble beach polo i don't see a problem netting ten so that's seventy ten on the little jersey soccer jersey that's eighty um at least ten a piece on the tommy bahama shirts so that's ninety a hundred uh, I don't see a problem getting 10 on the, the, the doctor's Batgirl, so that's 110. And I don't see a problem getting 20 out of the Payne Stewart, uh, but we'll go with 15. So that's 125 and we spent less than $25, guys. That's $100. I was in the Salvation Army from the time I walked through the door till the time I checked out, got in my car and drove off exactly one hour. One hour is all it took. And there was a good line because it was half off day. So I probably waited behind uh, around eight to 10 people before I got to check out. So one hour of work, $100 profit. We're gonna bring this back. We're gonna photograph it. We're gonna post it. Hopefully it's it's what? It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's about 12, 13 items. So those 13 items will probably take me about an hour and a half. So we're gonna be in two and a half hours of time and a half hour total packing. If they all sold at one time, I could pack those in about a half hour. So three hours of work, 100, maybe $110 in profit, 33 to $35 um, an hour doing that. So for those of you that say, again, that it's tough to make a living, it's hard to go out, how do you do it? Uh, you know, my target, everybody knows, is $500 a day. Um, I went to pawn shops and the Goodwill bins this morning. I'll get you guys some videos on that, but we made a few hundred dollars doing that. $100 here. And then tonight I will do my normal browsing of eBay and Amazon to see if there's any underpriced items. So Today was rainy day, and even though it's raining, you gotta get out there and buy stuff. The 50% off sale was a little less busy than it normally is, so I'm sure that helped me get in and out quicker uh, than what I normally would. So that's our finds for today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go and pop this video up for you guys, get it edited, get it on there. And uh, any other questions you guys have, of course, down in the box is our social media links, uh, links to everything that you need. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, you make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're gonna get a ton of good videos out for you guys. Uh, we're gonna keep making them every day, getting them up as quickly as we possibly can. Uh, between our shopping and our listing and our shipping and our questions and customer service, sometimes we don't get the videos up every day and I apologize for that, but we try our hardest. So stick with us, subscribe, and you'll know exactly when those videos go up. Thanks again, everybody, for checking us out, for, for you know watching our channel, watching our videos, following us, subscribing, and checking us out on social media. It's real important to us that we know that you guys enjoy what we do so we can keep doing it. Um, and uh, with that said, I will catch up with you guys on the next video and uh, let me know what you think. Questions, comments, concerns, write down in those comment sections. See you guys.